Hi guys, it's your boy, the Max Gamer, and Animator, and I'm actually here to do an anime related video of the top 5 worst anime moments of 2013, and there's gonna be a little bit of 2012 in there, so without further ado, let's get to number 5. Now, as always, this is all my opinion, and if you don't agree with it, well, well, I don't know, just don't watch the video, I guess, or dislike, I don't really care. But in my opinion, this is number five on the list, and I'm gonna begin with war. I'm gonna um, just a spoiler warning. Obviously, if you haven't caught up to the latest series of every manga you read, just probably should ignore this video. Um, number five on this list is going to be the Obito review. My God, when this chapter came out first, I like. <laughs> I I was not happy. I was not happy that it was all, not just the fact that it was Obito. He turned out to be one of the biggest disappointments of a villain ever. But uh, you know he's gonna be on this list. And no, it was just for the fact that the plot holes in Naruto just started to emerge. With and it's not it's still not been explained how he survived the boulders and the age difference and all that crap. And it just <laughs> It was just a disappointing chapter when it first came out. That's really the reason. And you know, it just struck a chord. A lot of the fans were just angry, and I think uh, it was justified. First of all, it was this Obito whose ideals were not that of a villain's when he died. It just it just seemed so random at the time. <laughs> so a uh, few chapters have passed, still not explained how he survived that boulder, which I will not forgive Naruto. As far as I'm concerned, Naruto is one big plot hole until this boulder thing is explained because he can't just he had no magical shining on oh no there were that's number five that's number five is that it's gonna take him the rest of the fucking year to explain all of it H how is he gonna explain that how who told me should have been fucking Goku, not fucking uh, little Beto? Mm, uh, what? It's you, little Beto. Like no one, like what the? F no, 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 no. I would rather Kishimoto pull some copyright shit on Akira Toriyama and steal Goku rather than him being fucking Obito. Oh my god. Yeah, like yo, this panel, like like this chapter is fucking. Next on the list, number four is. The so-called war in the Naruto verse right now. I say so-called war because nobody, nobody is dying in this war. I, I'm not even sure. Neji, that's it. Out of all the Kono Eleven, Neji died, and five other guys. Side characters. No wait, one guy was Shikamaru's dad, Ino's dad, and that was it. So yeah, great war we're having so far. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Father Ninja, so <laughs> those important Father Ninjas over there dying as well, risking their lives. <laughs> and the other thing with this Naruto's Great War, the other problem with this Naruto's Great War is simply because the amount of characters that were brought back were not utilized properly. You had Neji's dad, there's nothing with Neji's dad. You, like, he was brought back, he was sealed. Like, there was a ton of characters. The uh, Swordsman of the Mist, the former people that tried to five sound ninja all of them there was nothing there was only if you watch the anime which is in canon so doesn't count so lol but seriously no one died and the amount of characters that could have been utilized a lot better especially the swordsman imagine if they gave away their swords to some worthy worthy people but no instead it just ended up sucking and um, there just wasn't enough to make this feel like a war. Even the main villain, other than Madara, because uh, Madara is a beast, but up to Madara, they just felt like he, <laughs> they were gonna win, which it really shouldn't. There was no sense of danger, and that is why this is number four. However, Madara, after Madara, beast, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, number three worst anime moment of 2013 and a bit of 2012 is oh my god the end of the fairy tale 
I don't know if you call it the Grand Magic Games, but the Dragon bit of the Fairy Tales uh, Grand Magic Game. <laughs> like, like, if you thought the Naruto War was bad because only like five people died, in Fairy Tale, when these all powerful dragons came, no one, not, no, <laughs> not even Father Ninja, not the, no one, no one was killed by these guys. And these guys were hyped up, oh my god, the hype. And, well, basically, it was like a flatlining. It was so bad. I mean, like, this this definitely beats up the Great Ninja War because at least Mador makes the Great Ninja War good. And this, nothing can make this good. Seriously, like, nothing. There, there was no redeeming quality about this. No Dragon Slayer was like the Slayer Dragon. And they were beaten, battered, and bruised. And. You know, it's just disappointing chapter. Oh my god. What about Sting? Uh, Rogue, I mean, Jesus Christ. He, he did all this for a goddamn cat. Yes, that's right. The main villain brought all these dragons because a cat died. If that sounds like great villain motivation to you, you need to get yourself checked. You really, really need to get yourself checked because... It doesn't sound good to me, and it shouldn't sound good to you either. So, number three on this list is going to be definitely, definitely the dragon thingy of the um, fairy tale. Because, oh my god, there's just so much you could say was negative about that. Rogue getting defeated in the first place. <laughs> the Natsu just making friends with the dragon. Convenience upon convenience upon convenience. And it was just, oh my god, especially coming off the Grand Magic Games. Which, oh my god, it was just bad, it was bad, it did like, <laughs> there were no redeeming qualities in the arc, if you can skip it, skip it, because seriously, other than the ref, there is nothing important about it, it sucks, it really sucks. Hacked by this little dragon creature, oh, but what, we're gonna have all tier, she's gonna do the time thing, and he's gonna be fine. Bullshit. Bonafide bullshit. No! No! You fucked up, hero! Twice! I was going to let it slide. I was like, okay, he fucked up the tournament. No biggie. We still got the Eclipse. He couldn't do that. Hero couldn't do the dragons. Hero, I, I'm, I'm on the phone right now. You know who I'm on the phone with? George R.R. R. Martin from Game of Thrones. The creator of Game of Thrones. He says, your shit sucks. And if you want tips, come over to him in America. He's creating a crazy show called Game of Thrones with a little person called Daenerys. Tigarian. Oh, the mother of all dragons. See, he knows how to do dragons great. You know how to do dragons sucks. Your dragons are a big pile of dragon shit. Okay? So... That, that's the story. Fucking cats again. What is up with these cats? Frosh? So, future Rogue, he did this all because Ro Frosh died? He became... He... Delta didn't said it perfectly. I, I, he's got, he's saying, he was saying, I ain't got rabbits, but... Just because one of them is killed doesn't mean I'm going to destroy the world over it. Unbelievably stupid. Players, I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I got right here. Look here. You see this? You see this girl right here? Look at her right there. That's Lena Inverse. She will rip you to fucking pieces. Where is she again? Let's find the linear verse again. Oh yeah, there she is again. Right there. Right there. With, with, uh, uh, um, I forgot his name. <laughs> I forgot his name. I'm doing a while since I've seen Slayers. Um, uh, Gowry. Yeah, Gowry, Lena Inverse, and Zelgadis. Call them up when you can actually be considered a, uh, Slayer. Or a, uh, Sorcerer Sorceress. Because right now, you are not. Hey, I call it like how it is, people. Look here. There's Lena Inverse. 
she actually kills dragons. Yeah, she kills them. Unlike Natsu and his ring tag bang of faker. Number two on this list, we're closing down now, is Obito talk no jutsu slash Tsukiyomi slash who, what was happening, slash bullshit, slash every single thing wrong with Naruto in that one moment. Oh my god. When Obito got talk no jutsu, it basically highlighted his uselessness. You know, it's, it's even more highlighted when Madara like, manages to get all the 10 Piju, all the 9 Piju. How useless, how just completely useless Obito was to this world. I mean, God, Obito sat there, listened to Naruto, instead of doing his job and trying to get Piju. No, he was like, oh, Naruto, Rin, oh my God, Rin, holy crap. The, the only problem I have with Obito is Rin. Rin. Oh my god, Rin. The only reason he's doing this. And that's Obito's the worst villain I've ever seen. Actually, no, he's the second worst villain because Rogue is the worst villain I've ever seen. Obito, oh my god. Oh, that pissed me off. The top Jutsu, the punch from, like, oh, punch. Drags him in, like, what? It was just, it was, it was used, it was just, it was bad. It was bad, like, it, it, that's why it's number two. It's not number two because it was good. It's number two because it was bad. Really, really despicable. Like, stuff you just don't do, okay, in an anime. Is you don't have this one track mind a child. This child as a villain. And he wasn't, he wasn't a man. He was a child, okay? You don't have a child as a villain. Oh, my God. Oh, it, it was so satisfying. When Black Septi took over him, you, you have no idea. Oh my god. When, when he dies, I won't shed a tear. You won't shed a tear. Nobody. Like, I want him to die. That's how bad this was. And that's why <laughs> Obito is talking to Jutsu. Crap. Just takes number two. And finally, number one. The creme de la crop of the worst things that happened in anime 2012, 13. A bit of 14, I guess. <sighs> Fairy tale, grand magic game. Oh, where does someone even begin with how bad this was? I mean, <laughs> okay, okay. First of all, first of all, Raven Tail just got one hit. Laxus out. Just punches. That's it. You're done. Bye. What? So they were this little of a threat, but you had surveillance from them, wasting resources because of how little of a threat they were. But I, I, this wasn't that bad, to be honest. Then you get that two beast thing, sting and rogue. <laughs> oh, this was terrible. Oh my god, holy. The problem is, it just get, keeps getting worse, okay? What about the executioners for the. Def oh no, okay. Then you have um, the, the the end fights. Look, Minerva, before she fought, Erza was probably the best female villain in Fairy Tale. Probably one of the best villains in Fairy Tale, to be honest. Minerva, after she fought Erza, father. It's that simple. It, it's that simple, really. Cause, oh my God, Erza pulls out some. First origin, second origin armor. Like it was just, I can bend the laws of magic. Like, what? And and the problem is there was no taboo or anything. It was just she she's able to now bend the laws of magic by wearing this armor. Oh my god. Uh, and then and then of course Sting. Oh. When someone says Sting, it should be like enough said, okay? Because oh my god, this guy. Oh, this, this guy. Oh my god, stay. Stay. Oh, he sucked. Ew. Oh, he just. Oh, bows down to fairy tales. And he's like, fairy tale. Gods. Oh my god. And, <sighs> Oh. <sighs>
Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was just the most pathetic excuse of uh, a way to go down. Hands down, Sabretooth has no respect anymore. Like, they are in the same boat, if not below Raven Tail for me at this point. Like, I respect Raven Tail more because at least they stuck with their dirty ideals to the very end. <laughs> I'm at a loss, honestly. Like, uh, Sting giving up and surrendering after he had this massive plan. It's all perfect. It's coming to fruition. They're all right here. He's going to win. And then he just surrenders. I mean, uh, it, it, it speaks for itself. Very anticlimactic. Very terrible. I was like, well, I guess this will calm the wave of hate that last chapter ensued or created. And it was when Sting was was really comfortable. He was really cocky. He was saying, hey, I think everything's going according to plan. Fate is on my side. I was like, oh, so I guess it wasn't a complete loss app. Like, there is something to, to the trolling that occurred last week because the fairy tale guild is going to get their asses handed to them. Listen, I admit it. I don't like fairy tale. I dislike it. But this chapter made me realize that there is one person, one person that hates it more than I do. And that is Hiro Mashima. How in the belligerent fuck do you go from giving your readers some hope that there is actually, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel that can finally break this everlasting cycle of just Nakama power-ups and fairy tale winning over and over again on some bullshit. How do you go from that? From giving your readers hope and then just completely shitting upon their expectations. Just delivering mountains and mountains of shit on your readers' expectations. That is offensive, my friend. That is an insult. Those who have the stamina to equip this bullshit armor are allowed to bend the laws of magic to their whim and have been known to perform miraculous feats. What the fuck? And then she just takes and then she just takes out Minerva. It's like she literally one-shotted Minerva. With some actually no no, she didn't one shot her, but she just took her out. With some, what was it? Nakadami Starlight. Wow! What? Wow! Fuck, it was the. What are their names? The, yeah, the Seven Kin of Purgatory. He disappeared because he broke a very sacred taboo of soul magic manipulation. But here she's breaking all the laws of magic and there's no taboo. What the fuck? Are you shit? Is she right there? She's allowed to bend the laws of magic. Are you kidding me? When when she took off that when when she took off that armor, she should have never been able to like produce magic ever again. That should have been her taboo. Because it's 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 bullshit. She's bending the laws around of magic. There should have been a taboo, but there's no taboo. So, so that's complete bullshit. That's almost a retcon. It, 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 that made me mad. So, I was disgusted. But the last part's even worse than that. <sighs> Fucking sting. Oh my god. Yo. Yo, I can't believe. Oh my. Oh. Listen to me, man. Hold on, glasses off for like a few minutes, alright man? In the recent, no, in past Fairytale chapters, I, and actually in the last one, I said that the only hope left that I have, not even the dragons, is, like the dragons, I don't care anymore. I don't fucking care about the dragons anymore. The only hope left is if that somehow this major upset could be Sting. Sting pulling off the unthinkable and beating the wounded fairy tale members because they were wounded. And... Realistically speaking, when you have an entire team of squads that are like near their deathbeds, they're almost they're almost passing out by standing up. And Sting is in a full mode. He's he's like yeah, and you're thinking, oh shit, Sting's got this. He has it in the back. He can't fail, and he failed. But it 
Listen to me, man. Oh my god, when I saw this, I was so mad, bro. Yes, bro, I was so fucking mad. It was like, oh my god. Bro. Bro. I was so mad, bro. Dude, it was like... It, it was like... It was like... Sting does the fucking signal. Like, I'm here, fairy tale. Yeah, and he's like taunting them. And we have all of like the team fairy tale there. We have Julia Gray, Gaggio, Laxis, Urza. And then it's like, okay. And... And Sting... He's powering up. I, I'll show you my new powers. And you see this panel of fairy tale. You see this panel of all of these motherfuckers just standing there. And then this the scene. thing, right? So we finally get to the thing, and Sting stands up, and he's just like, "I'm ready to go. I'm ready to." God, they're staring so intently at me. I can't do it. I can't do it. I surrender. No. 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 No, 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 that's not how you do it. That's not how you fucking do it. I, I really think Hero knows what's going on. Let me tell that. Show me your So, that's my top five. Uh, worst anime moments 2012, 13, and 14. Uh, give me your thoughts on what you think should have been on this list. If anything didn't make it, and, uh, <laughs> uh, like, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace.